Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group J Round 2 match between Zahu and his Skaven up against Shirts with his Undead. Zahu won the toss, chose to kick. I can tell you that Zahu is Spanish and qualified through the PC Buttercup. Uh, Shirts is also on the PC, is American and qualified via the Crenball Worlds Qualifier. And we can see from the table that Zahu lost his first game versus Olivier Dulac and Shirts drew with Teddy Tom. So a win for either here will put them as probably the favourite to go through with Olivier Dulac. But I guess more so, well, actually, maybe more so Shirts in a way, right? If Shirts win this, then he's playing Olivier Dulac in the last game. Then if he wins, he'll top the group, in fact. He could even top the group with two wins. Uh, but, of course, he's probably, uh, Zahi is probably more likely to beat the people that aren't Olivier Dulac. So, <laughs> maybe this is, uh, maybe this is better for Zahu to win. Uh, a loss will probably see Zahu eliminated on it. We'll definitely see Zahu eliminated actually, so he definitely has to not lose. Um, he's got a pretty standard Skaven team. It has tackle rather than mighty blow on the blitzer and doesn't have a wrestle gutter but has the leader. Um, Shirts has got two guard mummies, a tackle blitzer, block, wrestle, block. So, you know, kind of standard um, undead team. There's there's a bit of wiggle room on whether you take block on this guy, whether you take guard on this guy. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the tackle, but I guess undead kind of struggle more versus skate like versus elf team, skaven team, so they want the tackle more, maybe. And I guess you've got enough mighty blow with the two, the two minis. So the Booty Bandits get another reroll. Great team name. Hello, Truk. Three dice there. Does nothing. You do need to uh, hurt rats, so block with block first, beats him off. And does get the power, finally. <laughs> what a pathetic MOS. <laughs> But gets a stun. Hmm. 3D Roger Blitz. He had moved the lineman right so he could have bitten the lineman rather than a gutter runner, so it wasn't. The craziest move you've ever seen, but uh, on then tagging the tackler, interesting. Oh, a very uh, vigorous defense here. <laughs> of absolutely not trying, just protecting the rogue on that, isn't it? Not really trying to get in the way and hold space, but just protect the rogue. Maybe he's going to believe in the one turn. Maybe he'll get a chance to go for the ball later. He's going to 3D the gutter. Surely, surely he's going to 3D the gutter. No. Blitz is the lino instead. Mm. 
<laughs> wonderful shape. I mean, Angeli was a nice shape in that they defended the they defended the rat ogre, but um, and they don't actually have to defend the the end zone, do they? Because they can just one turn and win. But I feel like I would like to defend a bit more than this. But fair enough, right? If you defend, you just get smashed by mummies, and he doesn't want to get smashed by mummies. That's completely reasonable. Could 3D the tackle, alright, to protect the ghouls. That seems quite reasonable. As well as trying to hit. A 3D a gutter. Oh, I don't like two dicing him. I don't like two dicing him without mighty blow when you can three dice him with mighty blow. The rogue is very safe. The rogue is safe, the sidestep is safe, right? That's like. I don't know what percentage that is to score, but it's pretty flipping high, isn't it? Might even get to force him in early here. Blitz, two into two. It's the instant and full two D pal. Knocks down both mummies, but now the roger is undefended. We definitely rush to smash the ogre here. Kill the roger. Yes. Never lucky. Never lucky. What a joke. I don't think they're too far up. They've, they've got wiggle room, right? They've got wiggle room. I mean, there is, like, you know, the possibility of getting squeezed, but not so much by Skaven, right? So... If they were in this spot versus like orcs or whatever, then maybe the orcs would pile in and make it really difficult, but... Skaven aren't too scary. I guess you're in danger of like, you know... Making a bad move and uh, getting into trouble. Hey, Rat Ogre makes a stun. Well done, Rat Ogre. Yeah, exactly. Try and try and get in now. Yeah, exactly. Got was a centre. Yeah. Okay, I'm not. I'm not keen on the uh, going back. I want to go centre rather than just back. Turn five, right? Now. I just tried to punch all of this. I just tried to punch all of this and basically stay where I was. Kaz, lovely. Apple works on a serious injury. Huge apple. Absolutely huge apple. Maybe. Zahu should have kept him over here. <laughs> Honestly, maybe he should have, right? He, he had the he had the tackle blitzer. He could have just kept tail on the tackle blitzer and uh, blitz the tackle blitzer and just given up on the score. Might have worked out better. Oof. 
It's a lovely three plus. I think I would have blitzed this guy. And then gang fouled this one. A draw is not good enough, really. He lost the first game, right, versus Olivier Dulac, so. If you've lost your first game, you really don't want to draw your second game, do you? Even if you've drawn your first game, you don't want to draw your second. 3D, lovely. Doesn't do anything. 3D Blitz is also lovely. H Cage. Great defense versus strip. Okay, here we go. Full full chunter defense here. Everything's based. And uh, you know if if Shirts makes a bad move here, he can you know a bad dice or a bad player, he can really get into a lot of trouble, can't he? I didn't really like making this a 3D because it was such a big commitment. But. You've just got to beat everybody off now, haven't you? I'm not sure that, that was the way, but. It's a way, isn't it? I'm not sure it was the way, but uh, you know, at least the ball's safe. He's punching some things. I'd have definitely punched with a move before that. I couldn't resist. Mm, pretty good. Uphill Blitz gets the full pow. Jesus. And the gutters make a full screen. Yeah, this was this was the problem by going back to the side again, right? I would have tried to sort them in the middle somehow. So it would have been harder for him to uh, cover everything. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. Yeah, okay, it's not terrible. So two dodges with dodge and two rushes. Oh! oh! <laughs> I mean, it wasn't that high, right? Because he had the two, the two one in nines were much more likely to fail, but. He had to make two eighty nines and two ninety sevens, so it wasn't nailed on the score, but you'll definitely feel a bit sad. But yeah, maybe you could have made it easier, right? Maybe you could have made it easier. Oh wow, we're gonna have a massive gang foul here because we've got loads of players. Hasn't lost anyone, like lost the roll because I pulled it. Honestly, it's maybe better just to foul the ghoul, right? Because it doesn't regen and it's easier to break the AV. Well, three assists, maybe it's not easier actually. No, it was actually easier to break the mummy's assist because of more. The mummy's armor because of more assists. But. Oh, I could have fouled this. No, it's a white. Probably, maybe better to foul the ghoul because of no regen, but. And the fact that you know mummy's on movement three. But. Undead with one mummy is a bit rubbish, right? They're like rubbish humans. Undead with one mummy. Whereas, uh, just another ghoul is not too exciting to remove, is it? It's very lopsided here, the ghoul placement. Two ghouls versus no ghouls. Well, I'm three ghouls versus no ghouls. Weird. This looks like a 
Rat Dacker. With <laughs> a real good down here. Failing the catch. Love a Dacker. My favourite strategy in all of Blood Bowl. I think it's incredible. I just think it's incredible that, like, something new happened after 30 years. <laughs> Shirt's going to try and deal with it, is the question. He's 1 0 down. And he's got a draw, and his last game is against Olivia Dillac, so he might feel like he has to win this one. He's going for the flying V. Let's go. The Flying V! Yes! Diamed did this versus um, Elliot in the Season 2 Finals. Funnily enough. The Flying V. <laughs> Undead ducks fly together. <laughs> <laughs> it's not terrible is it the flying V because like it puts pressure in the middle like and the, but then like kind of by itself like protects the sides maybe not so against rats Maybe better against like slower daquering teams. And even then maybe not even good. I don't know. He doesn't want to go yet, does he give it another turn and then go? So slow and dead, aren't they, that you can just wait around and... Mummies. Oh no, he's rushing. No! No! Dude, you can't rush after you spend your first turn not moving forward with them. <laughs> you can't not move forward with them on turn one and then rush on turn three. Nah. I mean, they made the funny formation on turn one, but they had to go three forward, didn't they? I mean, technically unlucky that he rolled a double one, but... Only technically. <laughs> that is uh, a huge gaping hole to let the rats through. Just base one of them. And he bases the other one. Yeah, it is the darker white dream, yeah. Yeah, it is. One mummy's on the other side, the other one failed rushes. Oh, this zombie's gone the wrong way. Forward instead of back. Beat off the line rat though. Man, all these rushes like kinda has to do them now, right? So out of position. I mean could have done that safe move first, but 
Yep, I mean, there was a lot of rushes there where he did need them to recover. This this doesn't look too easy. Maybe it, maybe it is under closer inspection, but it doesn't look... Nothing leaps to mind for how to do things here. Oh, he has to KO his own blitzer. Well done, Raoga. Best big guy in the game. Okay, so the thing that we're doing is just hand off to the other gutter by the looks of it. Oh, must be nice. Must be nice to not snake with a with a ball carrier. <laughs> Could have just done this punch earlier, right? And then not had to make those dodges. I mean, maybe they were blocking that guy's path. I don't know. I didn't hate just handing off to the other gutter and running away, honestly. Because you could still come back or whatever next turn, right? Six plus mummy dodge. Let's go. Actually, he could have blocked this rat ogre and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. Like, that's not terrible because you're punching him here and you could have, like, put a loads of stuff in here. And if you get a favorable bounce, scatter, you could actually have the ball on a blodger. That was probably the play. I know it looks terrible. <laughs> a 4-4. 2-2-4-4. Four, four. Two, two, four, four. But I think that was the only way you're probably going to get anything from this game. Blitzing the front and like standing around. They're just going to just gonna dodge away, aren't they? The sad reality is rats are just going to roll two pluses. Unless you get very lucky. Foul, but the rogue is pretty irrelevant now, isn't it? He's done his job. Well, he didn't even have to do his job. <laughs> the failed rush meant that he didn't even have to do his, his one job. And all these gutters dodge out on a two plus. One of them could have failed. I mean, again, you can go for this as stupid as it is, like four. Can you go out one, two, three, four, five, six, nine? So you'd have to go four, four, three, two, two. We'd have tackle for the hit. But it's a lot worse than last turn. So I could like blitz the sidestepper and base the ball with tackle and base the other things. Oh, he went for the four four three three four four three two two. He's got it. He's got it, and he's rolled the pow. But the, what he what he hadn't done was uh, base both of these and pushed him that way. I think pushing him in and basing this stuff first. But fair play, he went for the he went for the big play, and it it kind of worked, right? It kind of worked. He caught the ball. That's pretty good. Is if he had done the other things first, like he could have double rushed with the mummy and stuff, right? If he'd probably had to have based with these guys. Oh my god, Dub Skulls gets the push with a strip. Wow. 
Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you can dodge out. Picks up on three. Makes the dodge. Makes the rush. Wow. I was really close, really close. I'm glad I'm glad he did the right play. I'm glad he did the right play for the uh you know maybe should have done the ghoul last turn, but um that was definitely the only chance I think the uh the tackle blitz there, so fair. Fair dues, and now he's got a two turn chance, shirts to make it 1 1. But it's a pretty difficult two turn chance, isn't it? With uh, no re rolls and no ball handling skills of any variety. Oh, brilliant coaching. Gets him a re roll. I mean, literally, the first thing he had to do was probably uh, get one goal forward somewhere. Oh, I don't think this is right. I feel like you have to go down the side, right? The side is only one player. Go down this side where the non-block player was. And like blitz him with block and get a few players up. Of course the kick would have screwed you there. But. Oh, he's putting a ghoul in this cage. No, he's not. <laughs> this rushing, this rushing mummy. <laughs> oh dear. So he's got three ghouls that can score, and uh, white that can score. Oh ho ho! The rogue stuns his own. No, it doesn't. Just knocks over his own. Uh... Interesting that he blitzes. I guess that's most likely to knock over, isn't it? play is obviously not this. The play is to 1D the Roger, right? That's a 2 plus with block. So you can just 2D the Roger and then get the ball to this ghoul. But instead you double won the rush! Oh my god! <laughs> this mummy this mummy rolled five rushes and they were all one. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! That mummy just absolutely, absolutely ruined his life! <laughs> Jesus! That is brutal, isn't it? The one time it didn't snake was only because it just didn't re roll. And, uh. Wow, that is brutal. Well, there you go. Congratulations, Zahu. And commiserations, shirts. We can look at the table after this match and see that Zahu is in... Well, first of all, Olivia Duak has qualified. He had already qualified due to the draw. Um, Zahu's in prime position to join him because he's playing Teddy Tom. But if Teddy Tom wins, then Teddy Tom will join Olivier Dulac, unless Shirts also beats Olivier Dulac. But um, if Zahu wins, he's definitely in. Um, so, it's still all to play for, right? Then they're, they're not that far apart. 3 1 and 1. If anybody wins and the other one loses, the other two lose, they get the spot. So, Anything can happen as well. Shirts can easily, like, you know, make a few bang outs, like, against Woodies, like, Undead, it can definitely beat Wood Elves. And Elves and Rats, anything can happen. So, a pretty wide open group to see that one. So, there you go. Right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.